Hi there, it's Clive here and back once again and today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, Cookwork stainless steel coffee and herb grinder. Specifically we're looking at this from a point of view of uh, coffee grinding. I am a great fan of coffee, I'm in no way a coffee connoisseur. Uh, that goes without saying, but I like my coffee. If you see uh, behind me, I've got, I like coffee pods. I like uh, brewing my coffee in a cafetiere, doing it with a stove pot. And I even have a V60 uh, drip feed uh, coffee system. I like all sorts of coffees. I'm always trying different types of coffee. So I like coffee, we get the impression, but I'm not a connoisseur, I'm not an expert. I'm not a barista or anything like that. A friend of mine said, you know, you need to grind your own beans. That's the best way to do it. The flavor is uh, better and you get a better result. So she kindly bought me this, as I say, the Cookworks Coffee and Herb Grinder. Now, this grinder doesn't have different uh, settings in terms of the fineness of the, the ground that you make, but uh, depending on how long you grind it for, can determine whether you go for a coarse grind or a slightly more fine grind. And uh, I have the coffee here. Just as a tail is from Harrogate, lazy Sunday roast. So nothing fancy, nothing over the top. A basic, good, versatile coffee. But specifically on the back here, it says, choose a grind size. Espresso, it's gotta be fine. Uh, so that would be for the stove pot. Filter, so that's for your V60. Uh, drip feed here is suggesting medium. And then for the uh, cafetiere, they're suggesting a course. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try out this Coffee Works grinder and see if I can get the right sort of standard of coffee I required in terms of the grind size, specifically for these three different types of coffee. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we actually get with this, um, grinder. So here we have the grindy pot there. And that goes on top or something, we'll soon find out. And then the grinder itself. Now I have ground coffee before, I've used the, but I've used my Nutribullet here uh, for grinding coffee. It's all right, it doesn't do an amazing job, but it, you know, it's all right. Um, that's beautiful for blending and grinding other stuff. I don't know it's specifically for coffee, but I have used it before to grind my coffee. So this is the first time I've had a dedicated uh, coffee grinder. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of results I get. And then of course, we get the obligatory coffee and herb grinder care and instruction manual. So without further ado, let me put this thing together and then we'll uh, check out the grinding process. Okay, so I've cleaned everything. Uh, that's all good. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put enough coffee beans in here. Oh, that smells nice. I wish you could smell that. Enough coffee beans in here so I can make three different um, ground sizes basically and I'll put them in here. So we'll start off with the you know enough to make the, the three different types of coffee. So I'll probably fill it to the max. A little bit less than that okay. There's probably a lot a lot of coffee there but remember I'm making a normally I'd use like a little scoop like this that I've got. This came I think with the V the V60 for pre-ground coffee. But again, I'm, I'm grinding enough for the three different various types of coffee that I'm gonna be using. That's that there. Fit the grinding bowl into the man here, align the grooves, okay. Okay, align the grooves. There, that's it, that's in place, lovely. Fit the transparent cover onto the motor housing. This goes off. I'll just turn this like this so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. 
and then at the top here there's a little push button. Press down on the on and off button to start the grinder. Grind for a maximum of 30 seconds. Wow. After using the grinder for 2 times 30 seconds, a short rest interval is required before using the grinder again. Okay. So we don't do more than 30 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so that was about 15 seconds. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so that's very coarse. I'm just gonna pour enough in here. Yeah, that's like super coarse. It's too coarse. Right, another 10 seconds. lets you do it for sort of little te 10 second bursts. There we are. Right, that's a bit better. So I think, yeah, that's much better. So that looks, this is beginning to look a bit more like the copy I'd expect. Quite thick and quite grand. And I'll see if I can get it um, even more fine now. Here we go. Another 10 seconds. I wonder about how long it grinds automatically if I push this. Go. That was about eight seconds. Okay, I'm gonna grind that a bit more. I mean, there is a definitely a difference there. That let me grind for a lot longer then. Right, okay, this is looking much finer. Wow, well, yeah. And then we're gonna go for the final grind. It did say don't do it longer than 30 seconds. I've done it more than 30 seconds. And then it says, after using a two times 30 second cycles, a short rest interval of three minutes is required. Because obviously the grinder overheats a lot. Oops. Yeah, one more for luck. Perfect. And there you go. You need to work out what your timings are, but you should definitely notice, I don't know whether you can tell, but definitely notice uh, a difference in the grind between the much coarser one here. I've tried to go medium. Uh, believe it or not, lot, this one is, is fine. I think actually the medium is probably slightly between this and this one. I probably ground it a, li a little bit too long. So what you need to do is probably with a bit of practice, work out what the, the best grinding times um, are for your particular type of coffee that you're going for. So now I'm gonna make uh, the various coffees using the various um, ground coffee. So let's go. So I've got the uh, mocha pot, the stove pot, the mocha pot, call it what you will, on the stove there, cooking away. Got the filter coffee here, the drip, the V60 drip coffee, cafetiere here. Meanwhile, get on with the old drip coffee exercise while we wait for that to brew. So 
So here the mocha pot's brewed nice. Now obviously I'd normally have sort of an espresso amount size, but I'm just pouring in here. So you can just see. Hopefully you can see the colour difference. And then I've had the cafetiere brewing now for about uh, five or six minutes. And then pull this out. Drip coffee's done. Now there we go. Now I can see, you may not be able to see here, but I can see that the, the different colours here. This is definitely looks the weakest coffee, which is fine if you're having like a whole cup of coffee. I think that, that's fine. This doesn't look as, as black as I would have expected actually for the espresso. But then again, I've, I've poured quite a lot of it out. Um, but this looks very dark. Uh, and very nice. So I think this may well be, um, hopefully, the best tasting one. Now, uh, as I say, I'm not a coffee connoisseur, and you know what? I put milk in my coffee. Yes, I do. I love a latte, and I'll probably make a, this one into a latte right now. But I'm just going to taste them black, which is not, obviously, not the normal way I would taste coffee, but, you know, connoisseurs do. But just to see if I can really taste the kind of the key differences. This one definitely looks weak. I may not have put enough in here. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, that's very weak. So this is the cafeteria one, ground course. Quite a weak cup of coffee, that one. Yeah, oh my gosh, the difference. The difference is massive. It feels much richer. It tastes so much longer in that. I mean, as I say, I'm not a connoisseur, but I can taste the difference. Wow, that is very weak, unfortunately. I don't think I put enough coffee in that one. Yeah, that's nice as well. That's got a real punch. I think that's quite good. Bit of a bitter aftertaste there, but it's got a nice punch to it, that, that one. Um, it's very nice. I'm surprised, actually, the difference of making the coffee in those different ways are, even for an amateur like me, who, as, as I say, has no kind of sense. I, I didn't expect the difference to be that tangible, but it really, really is. So there you go. Coffee grinder from Cookworks, grind to your you know, size of choice, just you need to just work out how long you need to grind to get the level of grind, the size of grind that you actually need. I'll put all the prices and the details uh, down here somewhere so you can see, but I hope you found that useful, a little insight. I'm gonna go away now and make these cups of coffees into forms of cups of coffee that I can actually drink, i.e. latte and with milk, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like. If you like this video, hit subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell, and then you know when I put other videos just like this up on the uh, YouTube. So until then, I'll see you later. Thank you.